The Twins are getting used to life on the road. Heading into the All-Star break, the Twins went 6-3 and three on the roadie to close out the first half of the season. Starting the back nine in Texas, Minnesota kicked off a 10-game three-city tour. Not exactly dancing with the stars, but the Texas bullpen doing something out there. Not exactly line dancing either. Joe Maurer drove in the tying run in the All-Star game. He scored Derek Jeter. Top of the first, he pops out to Josh Hamilton. Another All-Star makes the grab. Bottom of the first, Hamilton will belt a two-run home run in the seat for Glenn Perkins, the pitcher, just a sixth home run allowed to a left-handed batter in his career. Later in the inning, Andrew Jones will ground to Joe Creedy. The new twin making a great stop at the hot corner, just barely gets a glove on it, and the throw is in time to first base. Top of the second, Carlos Gomez will launch this one into the gap in left center field. He would leg it out for a triple. It would tie the game 2-2, two to two and the Twins are not going anywhere. Top of the third, Vincente Padilla's on the hill and starting the game for the Rangers, Jason Kubel. He's just one of three Twins hitting over 300. It's a three-run home run, 15th of the year. It's 5-2 Minnesota, bottom five. Josh Hamilton up the middle. A three-RBI night for Hamilton. It's 5-3 to three later with the bases loaded. Hank Blaylock will ground out to end the threat. Joe Nathan, another all-star for the American League this year, facing Ian Kinsler. And this was the last hope for the Rangers, but he pops up to Joe Maurer. The 6'5", 230-pound catcher makes the grab look easy. Glenn Perkins, the starter for the Twins moves to 3-0 lifetime versus the Rangers, and Texas has a five-game home winning streak snapped by the Minnesota Twins.